Hi everyone, uh, my name is George Ndale, uh, functional consultant. Uh, I'll today uh, today's agenda is basically creation of the GLS account, general ledger account into the system. Uh, so I'll take you direct to the solution, which is a uh, BC uh, 365. Uh, so after you have logged in, basically this is the landing page, and our today focus is creation of the GL. As you can see here, we have the chart of account. So we click on the chart of account. So the uh, the chart of account it's a template which holds the list of the GLs owned by the company, and the G general ledger account is basically account which which usually hold information for a specific uh, activity, and for that account you'll be able to post a list of transaction relating to that uh, specific activity. So as you can see from your hand, this is uh, basically the listing of the GLs uh, which are in the system. Uh, so for this one, uh, for the chart of account, we usually group it into two ways. Either the balance sheet account or the income We shall group it into two. We have the balance sheet item and the income statement item. We also have the numbering which is key. The numbering is the one going to determine the, uh, the format. The format of the chart of account and it's good to create a chart of account which are, which is uh, presentable to the organization so as you can see i have all these accounts so i want us to create a, a one gl in the system so that you can know on how to create a, a gl into the system uh, for example i want us to go to the uh, fiaco expenses so for the vehicle expenses as you can see uh we have the the beginning total and the hint in, and the hint total basically this one means uh we have the heading and the total in account basically for the purpose of reporting so for this one as you can see uh we have the starting number and the hint number so it's good for you to give any grouping of account a big bracket eh, for future addition so that you don't limit the uh, the creation of the GLs relating to that specific group so as you can see for FIICOS we have this account this one a registration fee all this so I want us to create another account uh, we can see the last number used it was this number uh, so I can just uh, copy it just want to copy the number uh, so once I copy the number I want now to go to the chart of account and I create a new GL into the system if you want to create a new GL you just click on new uh, then now you give it a number this number has to be unique uh, the system does not allow uh, multiple yeah, different accounts having one GL that is huh? so number is a primary key into the system so we can call this one uh, registration fee registration that way something uh, descriptive you can you'll be able to select whether it's an income statement or balance sheet in our case we are creating it as an as an uh, income statement account uh, then you'll be able now to specify the account type it's an expense uh subcategory if you want to assign you can assign we also have the debit uh, uh debit stock credit it's good to allow both so that you can post both debit and credit into the system because if we say we are going to leave it to debit it means I cannot post credit into that account so it's good to allow both uh, then we also have the account type in our case this is a posting account you'll be able to post registration fee relating to our vehicles uh, to this account so we have to allow it to to be a posting account uh, for that case then after that those are basically the key information to be captured at the time of uh, creating the uh, the GL into the system so at the time uh, once you have created the system will uh, auto save for you as you can see this account has already been saved into the system so just click on go back 
so if we go now to our bracket we'll be able to see that uh, specific account we can scroll down we want to see our account as you can see this is the account which we have created and as you can see it is not in the same format as the other account so in the system uh, we usually have a, a good process of arranging this account so once you have created it's not good for you to go and edit then you move it uh, to extreme uh, right so it's good to go to the process then you click on intent chart of account so for you to click on intent it's mean the system is going out to arrange that account as per the other GLs. So we have created our account and you can search that account in the chart of account. We have this uh, uh, search functionality here. So you can just click on the search. Uh, then I type maybe the number. Our number was 51. As you can see, the system is being specific. This is our GL which we have created. So basically, that's all. Or now we are supposed to create GLs. The first thing to do, you understand this account, like to which class, then you'll be able to proceed and create it into the system. Yeah. So that is the creation of the GL. The next process will be doing uh, journals to confirm how we posting entries to that account how we adding information into that specific account then we'll also check on reports on the same thing if you enjoyed